Hey everybody, uh, just a real quick video. Uh, I had an old HVAC system that was replaced and I asked the guys if they would give me the old blower motor and they obliged uh, as I thought they would. And it's been laying around for a couple years. Um, I started working in my garage again. It's summertime here in Georgia. It was a little hot, so I decided it's finally time to uh, make this thing work. It's not the cleanest uh, installation I'm not an electrician and I'm certainly not an HVAC guy, but I uh, thought I'd just document what I did. Uh, one of the things that I did as I looked up my particular motor to try to determine what the three wires were um, going into it. And obviously we have uh, neutral and then this is load for the uh, low side of the motor if you want it to blow uh, slower. And this is load for the um, faster side. You may actually have a motor that has a third colored wire, possibly blue, uh, that could be an intermediate speed. But nonetheless, um, you can't, you don't connect both of these up at the same time. It's either one or the other. So I decided to implement two different switches without having to go buy one. Uh, I could have done it in one switch, but I ended up wanting to do it in two. So what I did was um, I took an extension cord, a uh, three-prong extension cord, because you're going to need ground at least to be safe. And um, so coming out of the extension cord here is my green wire, which is ground, my white wire, which is the neutral, and the black wire, which is the line. Uh, you know, the, and then I reversed a three-way switch backwards. And so basically I have line coming in on the bottom side of this, and then these are the two loads, depending on which position it switches in. One of these two gets it gets swapped over. And then over here, of course, is just uh, to break the neutral. So this basically becomes the on and off switch. Sheet metal screws, these switches are in tight. I, I soldered them, wrapped them. Again, it's not the cleanest install, uh, but I'm not gonna be lending this to anybody. So I will inspect it from time to time to make sure I don't have any frayed wires or anything coming loose. And I ran my ground out of my, to the chassis, just like they did off the motor here. So, uh, anyway, and then I ended up putting some legs on it um, so that it won't obviously rotate back when you turn it on. So it's a, like a little stand for it. And uh, this is how it works. Turn it on. people wonder about well how do you wire the capacitor you don't have to do anything the capacitor is nothing more than a temporary uh, battery if you will it gives a little bit extra uh, amperage to kick off this motor to get it started um, it was already wired out of the motor so I didn't have to mess with it at all uh, anyway I just wanted to show you guys what I did your mileage may vary, and again, remember, I'm not an electrician and I'm not an HVAC guy. Please be careful. One thing that I did was I wire nutted this together first to test the theory of how the operation would work. It worked as expected. Once I, um, I did that, then I put it into the switches and tidied things up safe enough for me. Thanks, see ya.